Rob, you fought under like every stage possible, but when it's these big fight weeks, you know, international fight weeks, sold out T-Mobile Arena, I mean, does that do anything for you at all at this point in your career? Uh, yeah, it's just definitely, I want to fight in front of fans. Uh, this is usually the biggest card of the year, uh, so I asked to be on it, and UFC put me on it, so I'm excited to go out there and showcase my skills and the work I put in. Brian Barberina was thrilled at the opportunity to be able to fight you. Were, were you familiar with his body of work? Had he caught your eye at any point along the way? Um, I've seen him fight a few times. I haven't. I'm not, like, seasoned in watching every fighter out there. But he's had some, some good fights and done some, uh, some good stuff. So he's a guy who comes to fight, and so am I. At this point in your career, do you, like, prepare specifically for an opponent, or is it more about just getting ready to go do Robbie Lawler? Uh, pretty much ready to go, uh, get my body ready. Uh, my coaches kind of implement things that I need to work on, certain things I need to look out for and make sure I'm in shape in a certain certain spots. But really, I'm focusing on myself. I might watch a little bit of tape, but it's it's all about me and what I can do. From the moment this guy announced, you know, fans are like, oh, this is going to be an epic brawl, an epic war. I mean, are, do you go into a fight with a mindset like that? Like, this is going to be ugly and dirty and back and forth? Or do you have to, can you let yourself think that way? Uh, no, I'm not trying to go back and forth with anybody. That would be silly. Uh, I'm looking to go out there, finish people, and not take any damage. But uh, sometimes guys don't go away, and sometimes I don't either. Nice. Last thing for me, you know, big win here. Um, What's the plan moving forward? I mean, do you, do you want to be more active than you have? Are you okay with the pace that you're kind of fighting at now? What, what's, what's the plan moving forward? Um, we'll see after uh, Saturday, see how my body feels. But it'd be nice to fight again this year. But you never know how that works out and, and who's available for me to fight and what kind of cards, where those cards are, those types of things. And I'll let my management in the UFC kind of figure that out. But if I can get one in again this year, I will. Robbie, over here just in the, on the right. Um, you, uh, Brian talked on stage about meeting you when he was an amateur fighter at International Fight Week. Uh, do you remember that at all? No, nah, I've met a lot of people. Uh, yeah, yeah it's, it's crazy. I, I'm, I wonder when that was, did he say? He, I think he said, it was like, he said it was years ago. It would have been a while ago, because he said when he was an amateur fighter, obviously he's been in the UFC for a while, so this, this would have been ages ago. I'm just, because he had told that story just before, or during media day today. Uh, yeah, I think I've only been to one other, I actually never been to, a, like, one of these conference, or whatever they call these international fight weeks, because usually I'm fighting on them, but I think I went to one a long, long time ago, so I don't even remember it that much, so. It was at, might have been at Mandalay Bay or something um, that long ago. Um, training camp at Sanford. Uh, I know it's been a while now that Rory McDonald's been there. What's that been like? Because you guys have had this epic fight, and now he's one of your main training partners and someone that you get to work with. How, how has that been, just you know, sharing the cage with him, and now you guys are on the same team? Uh, yeah, no, he came in for uh, a couple training camps. I haven't seen him uh, for a bit, but no, it's good. If, if he needs my help, I'll help him. He's obviously been in this game for a while, has a lot of skills that he can help guys at Sanford MMA uh, get ready for fights. It's nice having a guy who's fought at the highest level and who is as technical as he is. Who did you mainly get to work with for this camp? Uh, pretty much whoever they told me, but Jason Jackson uh, did a great job of pushing me, uh, trying to beat me up, and and making me uh, be on my toes and not take any punishment. Uh, he wakes me up and lets me know, like, this isn't a, a game. Let's go out there and fight. So it's always fun to get in there with him. Michael Johnson helped me out a little bit, too. So a lot of guys there. And, and just last one for me, we just had Ian Gary up here, who's, you know, obviously very confident, you know, very outspoken. You're kind of the opposite. You sort of just go in there and do your thing. What, what's it been like getting to work with him and, and someone who's an up-and-comer, and I'm sure, you know, seeing a bit of yourself in, in him in terms of the fight style? Uh, no, it's, it's really good. I mean, uh, he's an exciting guy. He likes to be out here in front of you guys and talk and put on a show. But he can fight, too. Uh, I think he enjoys himself. And uh, if you ask me... For help, I help him. Uh, I'm learning from these young guys uh, and uh, trying to teach them as much as possible. But it's, but it's nice having these up and comers to uh, make sure I'm out my toes and, and uh, getting better too. Robbie, right here. 
Um, so after we talked last week about you being on the prelims and you were saying a bit surprised, there was a lot of you know fan outrage saying Robbie's being disrespected and all that stuff. And I know that wasn't like your message; you weren't upset about it necessarily. Um, but did you see that feedback at all? And did that you know make warm your heart at all to see like how much the fans have your back? Uh, no, that's nice, but I don't really follow what the fans are doing or who's talking, and I didn't even know anything about it until I got uh, something from Noby as far as my new PR stuff, so I don't really pay attention to those things. So, but it's nice that fans are out there supporting me still, and I've been doing this a while, and I'm excited to go out there and put on a show for everyone. It all bummed that you can't fly home now on the day of the fight? <laughs> yeah, well... I'd rather uh, be fighting on the uh, main card anyways. But, yeah, it would have been nice to get in there, get my fights, and, and get out of there. But when you're fighting with all the fighting on the same card with all these studs, it's the energy in that arena is going to be awesome. So I'm looking to feed off that and put on a great performance. Thanks, Robbie.